This stainless steel tank has two steam injection heaters mounted on the right hand wall. The water is at an ambient temperature of 20 degrees centigrade. We open the steam supply to begin heating the tank and you can immediately see the steam purge the line to the heaters. You can see the steam condensing and transferring its heat to the water. We will now fade to an infrared image that will show the heat transfer taking place in more detail. The infrared image shows the same tank with the heaters running. Infrared videos represent heat by colour. Different temperatures are represented by different colours. There is a scale up the right hand side of the screen showing the temperature colour relationship. You can see that dark blue areas are cool, around 20 degrees C. Purple is getting warmer, around 30 degrees C. Orange is warmer still, around 40 degrees C. And yellow is approximately 60 degrees C. White represents 65 degrees C. The control valve feeding steam to the heaters is set to 60 degrees C, so we should see the tank go to a very bright yellow. The infrared camera lets us superimpose some live data on the video in a data box in the upper left hand quadrant. There is a crosshair in the upper right hand quadrant of the picture. This is the spot referred to in the data box in the upper left quadrant. We selected a position just above the rear heater to monitor with the spot. The temperature of this region is constantly displayed live in the data box. The camera also lets us select a square, you can see the four corners of the square in the video, and from within that square identify the highest and lowest temperature. These are indicated by the smaller crosshairs with an upward pointing red arrow for the highest temperature and a downward pointing blue arrow for the lowest temperature. The corresponding max and min temperatures are displayed live in the data box. As the video progresses you will see that the lowest temperature settles on the tank wall at the right hand side of the picture. This is just out of the water and so is at a lower temperature than the water in the tank. The steam passes into the water from the steam injection heater. The steam condenses silently between the heater plates and enters the tank as either condensate or as a tiny stream of bubbles. It is quiet and vibration free. The steam gives off its real and latent heat making heating by direct steam injection extremely efficient and rapid. You will notice that the rear steam injection heater is putting more heat into the tank than the front heater. This is because of the pipework configuration feeding the heaters. There is a more direct path for the steam to the rear heater. It has to double back and pass through an isolating valve to reach the front heater. Thus the rear heater provides the bulk of the heating load here. This infrared video neatly illustrates the convection currents transferring the heat around the tank. The localised heating effect of the heaters is rapidly dissipated by convection currents within the tank, which heats up remarkably uniformly under the circumstances. Each steam injection heater is rated at up to 175 kilowatts and is therefore capable of heating large volumes of water in a vented tank very rapidly. The steam pressure in this installation was relatively low, 10 psi at the inlet to the heaters, but it still took less than 4 minutes to raise the temperature of 150 litres of water from 20 degrees C to 60 degrees C. This represents a mean heat input of 105 kilowatts. The steam supply to the steam injection heaters was controlled by a half inch Horn EA1 steam control valve. The EA1 is a fully modulating control valve and so you will see the EA1 progressively throttling the steam supply as the temperature approaches 60 degrees centigrade. When used with the EA1 control valve, the steam injection heaters will maintain the tank at the desired temperature all day long, just putting in enough heat to make up for the radiated and convected losses. During periods of draw-off, it will increase throughput to match demand and maintain the temperature. As such, it is ideal for boiler hot wells and also process industry requiring accurate temperature hot water.